So Asus have just dropped an update for Armory Crate in 1.5.20. So let's take a closer look at these seven bug fixes and improvements. Let's go from what I think will be the least to the most impactful for us. And at number one is a fix for occasional crashes in Armory Crate and also Command Center. Even though this is very generic and hard to pinpoint exactly what specific crashes Asus have fixed here, this is always very welcome. And let us know if you've noticed less crashes in this new update below in the comments. At two is that it's resolved an issue where the lighting effects occasionally disappeared from the lighting page. This is before the update, so let's head into settings. I assume it's referring to this lighting section here, and I'm guessing there have been times that these lighting effects right here have had a glitch where they sometimes don't appear. Okay, so let's now update to this new 1.5.20 Armory Crate update. And I don't know about you, but I think that while we're waiting, that this is a perfect opportunity for a pancake intermission. It says installation is complete now, so let's launch Armory Crate and there's more installation needed. Then after this, let's head into settings, into update center. We're now on this new 1.5.20 update, but let's update the dynamic lighting plugin and also the AI noise cancellation audio too. This is now done, so let's check for updates and we are now fully up to date. So now on this new 1.5.20 update, heading into the lighting area, we should now not have any more issues of these lighting effects suddenly glitching out and disappearing. At three is that it resolves an issue where the embedded controller option occasionally disappears in the command center. Before updating here, pressing the command center button and it's referring to right here where this embedded control option is to enable or disable it occasionally disappears. Although I must be honest, I personally haven't noticed this bug. And here, after updating to the new 1.5.20 update, heading into Command Center, and we should now not have any further problems with this embedded controller option disappearing. I'd love to hear if this has vanished for you before this update, so let us all know in the comments. So we're starting to get onto the good stuff now, and at four is an improvement to the joystick calibration process. Here in settings before updating, let's go into calibration. Let's click on the left stick. Let's press right on the joystick, hold for two seconds. Push down again for two seconds, push left for two seconds, and we push up for two seconds, and then we rotate, I believe it is three times, and that is what it's like before the update. So now after the update, let's head into calibration, then left stick, then press A to start calibration, Ah, and now it has this new start, asking us to release the joystick and then press A to reset the dot to its central position. I'm guessing to increase the accuracy of the calibration. And then it goes into pressing of the right, down, left and up, and also the rotation as before. We're into our top three improvements now. And at five is enhanced responsiveness when switching control mode in the command center. So here before the update, let's open up command center and it's referring to this area here in control mode as we swap between gamepad, auto and desktop modes. First steadily where there is a little bit of lag and then as we switch between them much quicker, we can see that yes, it does struggle quite a bit for them to keep up. And now after the update, let's go into command center, toggling through the control mode at a reasonable speed definitely does feel snappier. And switching between them quickly, yes, we can tell that there is now more responsiveness and less lag. And this is very welcome as we often do have to do this between games. At six is an option to toggle the startup animation on or off. Here before updating, let's head into settings, then into general, and it's right here in personalization where we can download more Army Crate to launch animations. And if we scroll down a little bit, we can choose our Army Crate theme, but there's no option currently to turn off the startup animation. And after updating, let's head into general in the personalization area. And ah, yes, we now can see that we have a brand new toggle where we can now finally turn on or off the launch animation when Army Crate starts. And I'll test this out in just a moment. And finally, at seven and possibly the most important is an improvement to the startup speed of Army Crate. Here before updating, let's close down Armory Crate, then load it back up and we can see that the time it takes to load into Armory Crate, that it does take a little bit of time, which some of us RG Ally and Ally X owners have been a little bit critical of. And now after the update, let's try first with the launch animation set to on. Let's close down Armory Crate, 
So let's look at them side by side. The new 1.5.20 update on the left and the old on the right. They're just loading up. Oh, and the one on the left, the new one, launches quite a bit faster than the one on the right. Out of interest, let's go back into general, toggle this new launch animation to off, close armory crate, let's reopen to see how fast this now is, and wow, this is now almost instant. I am so, so impressed with this much faster launch now into armory crate. I really hope you awesome viewers enjoy these raw update vids, so hit like if this has helped you, drop a comment to let us know your thoughts of this new 1.5.20 Armory Crate update, and get subscribed so you don't miss out on any of these update vids, tutorials and content. And as a thank you for watching this far, I'd love to share this awesome quote. Not all storms come to disrupt our life, some come to clear our path. Wow, if you're going through a really tough time at the minute, then hang on in there. You've got this. Have faith to believe that something much better will come out of the pain and heartbreak. So stay encouraged today, guys. PX Play is an amazing app to remote play our PS5 console, both at home and indeed anywhere, using a cellular hotspot. And check out that guide right here. I really couldn't do these vids without all of your amazing support. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.